slant board. Okay, so this is like for doing aerobics or uh, I got no fucking clue. I'm not gonna pretend like I know. Obviously, I don't exercise. All right, guys, I just got truck trailer loaded up. We're gonna go pick up those pallets I bought yesterday. Uh, five overstock pallets. I think they're all overstock. I don't remember. But, pro tip. Find yourself a spouse, a friend, a relative, a partner, somebody who can help you lift heavy things when the time needs. Um, so I don't know if you could tell in that last video, but a couple weeks before I had purchased um, a load of treadmills and there was still one kicking around back there. The problem is I sold it to a customer who said, I'll be right back for it and then hasn't come back yet. And they've paid me, so <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, I've had similar things happen before. Uh, a customer bought like a mattress before and then paid me, never picked it up. And then I couldn't remember who the customer was. I resold the mattress and then all of a sudden they say, hey, was that my mattress? Well, so, you know, it happens, but find yourself somebody who can help you carry, lift, and move things. So I had a, a big, they're almost a commercial series treadmill, a big Nordic track back there. It's like a thousand dollar treadmill. Um, I just picked them up and moved it into my shop just temporarily. My wife, who's a friggin' beast, came in and uh, helped me pick it up and move it. So it's definitely, it's definitely helpful to have somebody like that who can help you move things around. The beast for sure. But we're gonna be there in about uh, 30 minutes. Uh, pick up that stuff and we'll flip the camera on and uh, we'll walk you through it. All right, we are here, we are in the trailer. We are ready to start loading up. They brought me out three of the five. Let me give you a quick pan of what I want. This was 500. Seven. Five. The hell, these just fell out. Luckily, they didn't break. Costco six foot step ladder. Desk. Another one, identical. Looks like this one's a little banged up, but there's usually enough foam in there, it should be okay. Christmas tree, save that for next year. It's a big one. Xterra fold up bike uh, with a lot of gyms being closed and people still uh, weary with COVID exercise equipment. Can't go wrong. Bed frame kind of sucks, but another one. I don't know, but there is probably five of them right there. So I'm gonna scan it real quick. Show you what I mean by scan it. Right here is a B07 code. That's an Amazon ASIN number. You can scan that with the Amazon app and it'll show you what the item is, as long as it's still in stock. This ends up being a really cool uh, ceiling hanging light fixture. It's, it's really a now super modern with that rustic farmhouse feel. These will sell really, really well. I'll put it right here in the picture. Miter sauce. Brand. I've never heard of this brand, PowerTech, before, so it's probably a lower end one. But some of these can be upwards of $400, depending on what it is. This is probably going to be in that $200 mark. Another one. Keep in mind, we're into this pallet for $500. Another one of those fold up bikes. This is a killer pallet. I 
pick this out, not my wife. Uh, slant board. Okay, so this is like for doing aerobics or... Uh, I got no fucking clue. I'm not going to pretend like I know. Obviously, I don't exercise. Another one. One of these things that I've never seen before. This just gets better and better. I don't know if you can see that. That is a lifetime table. Looks like there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'd say nine more of these things. Should be about $40 a piece. That's $400. I paid 500 for the pal. posts they sit in your front lawn you have a lantern hanging off of them and it looks like you can have a flag on the other side not not gonna say much maybe 20 20 30 bucks but we'll find out another one that's two three five i don't know what these are heavy as hell. Two inch black bar, 86 inches. Is that extra players? Yes, it is. It's made by Cap. I'm not sure if you can see that. But uh, Cap's a exercise brand. This is a really heavy bar. That's pretty Another one. Three. All right. This is closet made shelf. Um, black cherry. There's two of these. We usually you get around 20 bucks a piece for these. Two. This says steel top pressing station. I'm gonna assume that's an ironing board. If it's not, I'll put what it is up here. Okay. This is cool. This is a little like designer shelf. One, two, three, four, five. Five tiered. Uh, metal tower with wooden shelves. That's cool. And what we got left? How about four bed frames? I'll get these loaded up and we'll get to the next one. On to this one. You'll see a lot of stuff like this when buying box damage overstock. Um the subwoofer obviously fell out of this thing, and uh, oh, you can't really see that. All right. So this was a nice JBL subwoofer soundbar combo. This was probably two to three hundred dollar combo. The subwoofer is obviously missing. We still do have the soundbar, however, uh, and it looks to be in good condition. That should be a fifty sixty dollar bill. This is a Lucid ten inch, is that? ten inch gel memory foam. Uh, the gel is obviously a little bit more money than the memory foam. This could be two to three hundred dollars. It's really hard to tell with mattresses. They can be all over the place. Another one. Except this one says short queen. That would be like a, a camper queen. Let's see. Let's see if you can see it. This one doesn't say. We're gonna slip the can. Uh, obviously a mattress of some sorts. I'll put a picture of it of what it is in here. You'll never guess what I just found. The freaking subwoofer. The missing subwoofer to that JBL. Adds it back up to a couple hundred. So it looks like there's three of these. They say heavy duty bench grinder on it. I don't know if it's just a stand or a bench grinder. 
I'll put a picture of what it is here, but uh, if it's a bench grinder and it's this heavy, it could be a couple hundred dollars. And three. <sighs> Lifetime climbing dome. Amazon Basics. That's pretty nice. Oh, it's a distressed gray uh, flip top table. I'm going to assume it's an outdoor one. I'll double check. L top desk. It's a crappier one, it's kind of light. Might be 50, 60 bucks. We'll see. So, that's the right brand, Magnaflow. It's an exhaust system for something GM. Uh, I'm going to guess a truck, but we'll see. That's that one. On to the next. I'll start this one. So there's a bunch of these. I'll just put a running photo at the top, but uh, I'm not going to say that word. I'm not sure if I can, but what it is is um, one of those... Uh, SIDS baths. It's for after a woman has a baby. Mister here. Frost guard. One of those windshield things so you don't get ice on your windshield. Five drawer storage unit. Another one of those five drawer units. Another five drawer unit. A coat tree. This is some more of those picture frames. Poster frames, I mean. I don't know if these are worth something. My wife put, bought this pallet. This is not a my pallet. It's a five hundred dollar pallet. Doesn't look very good. Even though this is Amazon overstock, it does appear that some returns have gotten in the mix. The reason I can tell that is the peeled off labels and this one don't have it, but sometimes they'll have a return sticker on it. Amazon returns. So obviously the facility that this pallet is coming from handles returns and um, FC, Fulfillment Center. Yay! Bubble wrap. This is great for me. I buy this stuff all the time. I was actually just getting ready to put order in. It doesn't feel like very much, a couple hundred square feet, but I'll take it. Table lamp. Sounds broken. Stickers on it. Return. I do get a little bit upset when I buy FC and there's returns on there because you're paying a premium for FC. FC stands for Fulfillment Center. But you take the good with bed. Here's some more of the sit baths. Brush brass chandelier. Pretty ugly. Nobody's gonna want that. XL medical diapers. Uh, vibration plate. She actually got one of these for herself a couple weeks back. It is really cool. Bed frame. So I'm not going to show the rest of these, but there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven bed frames. Those are loaded up. On to the next one. All right, there's a ton of these. I'm not going to show each one. 
we'll just talk about it real quick. These are infrared smart heaters, Wi-Fi, Alexa, Google, all enabled. Um, these are pretty awesome. I'm gonna guess they're worth about 150 bucks a piece. I should get 75-ish. Um, looks like there's probably 15. <laughs> Charger. Interesting too. Have the keyboard, nothing special. Smart I can see them, but they're two cordless vacuums. This one's blue, this one's silver. Two more, H21 and H120. Another one, H21. APC Smart Ups Lithium Ion. I'll put what it is up top. Humidifier. Hollywood makeup mirrors. These are cool. Uh, these are like little vanity lighted up mirrors. They got lights all the way around the outside. This one's a small one, but. Sunjo, lithium ion, judging by its size. Yep, it's a weed whacker. Professional cosmetic cases. These are pretty neat and can be pretty expensive. Uh, this seems like a lower end Chinese one. It's probably gonna be a $20, $30 bill though. We got two of these Cosmo wall mount range hoods. Um, I'll put the price up here. We had two Snow Joes. These are both electric snow blowers, uh, small ones. Usually worth like $400 a piece, so it's gonna be two, $400. Um, we'll see what these are worth up there. But with all those vacuums and all those Wi-Fi heaters, this is gonna be a really, really profitable pallet. All right, we got two slam dunk pallets. One not so slam dunk pallet, and then this one that's left. Uh, I'm gonna, I left enough space where they should be able to put this thing in whole. So I'm gonna see if I can get them to do that. I'll take a quick look at it. see anything good in here. Another one of those shelvings. Rose wine zigzag. Looks like there's four of those. Um, if I find anything great or spectacular in here, I'll let everybody know, but I don't think I'm gonna. All right, well guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for going through this. Um, I'm done for now. Once I get everything listed, priced, inventoried, and start selling it, I'll let you know what I made. Thanks.